to get on the train. And, uh, tigers. Come through the tigers. Didn't get the chocker block. Tigers, you know, tigers. They are, hey, Laurie, up here, mate. So they come the tigers. I can recall this incident uh, very vividly. It just sticks in my mind about Laurie, you know, catching the train from Parramatta at, say, 1 o'clock in the morning. And Balmain had been smacked from pillar to post by, by South Sydney. It was a long afternoon. All the seats were taken, except this lady had a had a cat in a basket sitting sitting down alongside her on the train. And I said to the lady, ma'am, would you mind moving the cat? hold the cat on your lap because I'd like to sit down, the train's full. She was most indignant that he had asked to sit down because she said the seat was for the cat. And Laurie's full of drink and this cat's all over him, running around and all that. He said, listen, love, I'll only give you one more chance, you know. In the end, he said, lifted up the window and said, lady, rat-a-tat-tat, say goodbye to your cat, <laughs> threw the cat out the window. And as Laurie put it, he said, he said, I heard the me, but not the meow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the constable, so I've, I've been instructed to go and find the cat. So I wandered back up the, the railway line, only west about, about 200 metres, 200 metres, I suppose. And there's a the cat, not a problem. The cat's just wandering along the railway track. 